Hello my friend, how are you today? This is again your friend and your via telling you that with God nothing is impossible, everything is achievable. So I'm just dropping by once again to tell you one message. And the message is coming from Romans 12 verse 19. It says that do not revenge, my dear brothers and sisters. Leave room for the wrath of God because it is written, it is mine to avenge. I will repay, says the Lord. So if you are in a situation right now where you think someone have done you wrong, someone have stabbed you, or someone did wrong to your family, or some uh, killing or rape or whatever, if you can think of the worst situation where it's really driving you to revenge, my dear brothers and sisters, here's the word of the Lord for you today. Do not revenge, leave room for God. To, to revenge for you it is his promise that if you do submit to him if you just be quiet you just be still and know that he is God then he will do revenge for you just don't do it for yourself because if you do even though you are the victim then you will receive as well a corresponding punishment for that and God is a just God he is he is so gracious but he is a just God too that if you've done something wrong, then you will receive uh, a punishment for that, a reward, or a, what is tantamount to what you have done. So what I'm saying is, if you are into a situation really right now that's driving you crazy, that's um, that's urging you to go and do the same thing that your your opponent have done to you or to your family, that you're gonna go equal. My friends, my friends and your brothers and sisters, the word of God is no, stop. Because if you don't forgive, you yourself will never be forgiven. So it's easier to forgive and give everything to the Lord, offer everything to Him, and you will be vindicated. You will be vindicated. Do not be equal with the do not be equally yoked with the unbelievers or or those who are fond of doing bad things them um, doing the evil things no you are somebody who is be chosen you are highly flavored uh, favored you're highly favored you are so precious into his sight so you are not going to do such thing that will uh, damage your identity you're so valuable and you are so worth so you are going to do as well something that will give glory to him not something that will lead your soul into eternal death eternal punishment so that is the word that i wanted to tell you brothers and sisters no matter how pain you are in now no matter how uh, how your your suffering is or no matter how grieved you are feeling do not revenge don't take the move to be as um to be acting, uh, to, to act the same as your opponent does. The word of the Lord says, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. So if you think you are being persecuted, pray for them. Um, commit everything to the Lord and He has the answer. He has the answer to all your pains, to all your sufferings. And it is His promise that He will never leave you nor forsake you. So if you are that somebody who is really in that pain, who is really so aggressive to thinking of something on how you could go against that, pe that somebody who did wrong to you, wrong your family, then it is a warning, my dear brothers and sisters, that you are not supposed to be doing revenge for, for it is only God's portion to do it for you. And you will be amazed on how his, his hands will mightily move in your behalf. Hope that helped you for today, brothers and sisters. So, yes, that's my message. And, and um, till next time, I will come again next time to give you one more message that I believe that will surely encourage you and lift your spirit up to come and trust the Lord who is the giver of your life. God bless you. God bless you. Amen and amen.